All right, so what's up, YouTube? Uh, Kenny Russell here, and uh, this is the Dromeda Kodo uh, micro quadcopter with the you know HD camera. Um, I know I've had uh, some issues, and I've seen uh, other people on the internet had some issues uh, with like range and signal drops on this thing, like only being, you know, maybe 30 to 40 feet away from you, and uh, it just loses signal and uh, falls. And then as you get closer, it will rebind, and you can, you know, regain control. But um, you know, that's no good if this thing's flying high up in the air or flying away from you or you're trying to get a, you know, a video of something, and this thing just decides to take off on its own. I was flying around the backyard, and... Um, you know, this thing just started, I it started drifting really hard on me. And I, I was like, what's going on there? I thought it was the wind at first. And uh, really, it just had lost signal and freaked out and flew over into my neighbor's yard. So I went back and got it and uh, said, okay, I'm going to goof around and see what I can come up with. Um, this is what I have currently done. So there are several screws that hold this body together the canopy there's uh, two up there there's one in the back and then up top there's two on the side okay so it's like uh, two four, five, five screws maybe. It's not that much actually. And this actually just comes apart. And uh, right inside on the board is where the antenna is. And it's laying flat facing this way towards the back. And uh, what I did was, is I just dremeled a small hole enough for it to fit through and not touch anything because what I found was when I, I did a small hole at first and when I was flying it felt like maybe the vibration of the canopy vibrating on the antenna was causing the board's gyro to get off and every once in a while it would just start to really pull to one side or the other for no reason so I drilled the hole to be a little larger so that this fits through without touching anything and I have it bent so that it's up like that and you get a better signal coverage. Um, the other thing I did was with the transmitter there's four screws, one in each corner and then the one for the battery tray uh, you don't even have to take that one out, but if you take the four screws out, this back plate comes right off, and which was when I realized how stupid they were. <laughs> they they mounted the antenna on the bottom of the transmitter, and it's you know facing this way, so. When you're holding it, your hand covers the antenna, and that's when you tend to lose control. At least that's what I found. So what I did was is I pulled that, that plate off the back. And again, I, I dremeled a small hole there, and I extended the antenna straight. Now, it is down, but now it's not covered, and it is facing down and not just straight to the side. And, and, and I feel that I'm not losing signal uh, nearly as much as I did before. So I am going to do some more distance testing with this. Uh, you know, to prove the theory that uh, the antenna being positioned the way they are was, was causing, you know, signal loss. But as you can see right now, uh, 
that thing just freaked out in my hand. It's, it's definitely, you know, still flies. Everything's still working. You know, put the four screws back, and you know, you're you're good to go. All right. So I'll have more video and uh, uh, showing some distance, and and hopefully we'll we'll see uh, no signal loss and. Uh, Hopefully, I won't lose it in the process. All right. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks.